Hi class, can you see me? Yes, I can. Me gustas Hi. Blanca. Can you see me? Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, teacher. You Good have evening. internet today, Miriam. Good. <laughs> Yesterday okay. you were scaring us. Ah, uh, because it's my computer. This computer is is uh, uh my daughter, my granddaughter, and the other computer is mine. Oh, okay. Uh huh. What happened with the other it's, computer? Uh, it's a Chromebook, and it's bad. Uh, the RAM, the room. The RAM. How much RAM does no. it have? Um, no, no, no. The room. It's bad. Uh huh. The room. Room. Do, do you know the difference between RAM and ROM? Uh -huh. The the RAM is a uh, um. Uh, um, uh, is the the capacity capacity uh the la the the fast no that's the ram uh, oh the ram uh-huh okay and the room is a uh, uh, internal internal is the memory. storage is uh -huh. uh, para guardar uh -huh. y usted sabe por qué se llama desktop escritorio no. o sea su pantalla principal uh -huh. principal se llama desktop Desk, desktop. Desktop. No. Así se llama la pantalla principal de, hey, check your desktop. Uh -huh. why, desktop. Teacher, why, why name this that? Because um, I'm going to, let me say I go to computer real quick. Okay. A computer is similar to a desk. If I have a lot of papers in my desk, imagine I have one box, I have a phone, I have toys, I have little space to work, correct? Yes, right. Yes? Does everybody understand? Yep. Yeah. So that's why a desk, I have gavetas, drawers. So all the things I don't need in my desk, I put them in la gaveta, in the drawer. Because I need my desk clean. So, ese es el rum, la gaveta es el rum. Ahí se guardan las cosas que no está usando. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Mi papá tiene un archivo que tiene videos, todo su celular. No sé, como 40 mil fotos, videos de ahí y hasta películas. Me too. <laughs> ok, but let's see. He calls me, David, David, mira, my computer is slow, it's slow. No sirve. I said, Let me check. Y ese archivo lo tiene en su escritorio. En el computer. Ahí es. And mm. I said, Dad, look. Le he dicho Pero mil veces. Pero no lo abierto. It's not. The computer is recognizing it. Aunque no lo estén usando, todo eso lo está usando, absorbiendo la compu. So, get that folder y guárdenlo. So, the objective is your desktop clean. Y por eso se llama RAM, Random Access Memory. So I recommend you always in your computer or laptop, the, the main page, nothing. Don't have anything there. That I, that I can recommend is use Linux instead of Windows. I wouldn't really recommend Linux. Because, no, it's good, but everything, everything is Windows. You have to transform. Yeah, but you know what? Few, few years ago, I, I don't know why, I don't know how, but 
I receive a virus. And everything, every document, every folder, uh, everything on my computer uh, got a password. And when I try to open, the virus said that I have to pay $100 for recovering my, my documents. And I couldn't. I try in different way with the other person to investigate what's going on with the kind of virus and everything. And I couldn't open anymore that kind of document. So that I did is um, just take all the document and put on the um, uh, hard disk upline and I, I installed Ubuntu Linux. Yeah, I mean, so, remember a virus, whoever invents the virus, if I invent a virus, I could do whatever I want. I, I could do whatever I want the virus to do. If I want to go into your system, yeah, if I want to play with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. but remember the buyer, the most of the buyer is for Windows. Because the majority of people have Windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. That's why did I use Ubuntu? Yeah, this is true. But the best is Google. Chrome, use Chrome. Chrome. Mm. Chrome. Um, Google, yes, and Google Google Cloud is the best. ¿Y saben por qué les digo? Yo trabajé en Google cinco años. Y hasta el año pasado, creo que Google jamás ha sido hackeado, la, la nube. Really? No, nope, never. Y irónicamente, Apple, yes. Mm -hmm. iPhone. Por eso es que a veces salen videos privados de actores o les, les han hackeado su nube. De... Son eso sí se hackeaba Google siempre. Like, hey, nunca hemos sido hackeados. <laughs> Ironic, you know, dicen, oh, Apple, Apple tiene es el mejor system, tiene el mejor antivirus, pero han sido hackeados. It's y not se... really. ¿Hmm? It's not really. Why? And, o sea, uh, the, that the, uh, the Apple is the best. Um, no, no, people Latin say America. that. Ah, yeah, people say that, but uh, for example, in, in Latin America or in El Salvador. It's uh, Yeah, and, and all these windows. So uh, for that, Apple is, is other thing. Uh, about Apple is the like, when 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 you need fix your computer right so um, you need uh, to go uh, your computer uh, what do you say Jimar? take it uh, you you need take it uh, your computer to eShop right because the 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 people that fix the computers and don't know about uh, Apple some uh, sometimes, right? So yeah. that, that is a problem in Sabado. Yes, it's I true. Guess. It's true. That's why I don't like iPhones. I always like Android. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But anyways, think about it. If you ever want something security, use Google Cloud. Because in the, the systems, moment, use linux the linux and systems yes it's like yeah. what uh, guzman said linux is is is, is a, a little bit ugly right uh, for some people but is very safe in in the in the server server is is correct server yes. mm -hmm. uh, yeah in the servers they using linux because it's very safe it's very safe okay cool nice you see, people, we learn something I'm every on, day. On, on, on project. Okay. We lost 
Guzman. He can't hear Guzman, right? Ah, okay. I, yeah, I, I heard him eso, and he just... Eso le pasó por hacerme burla ayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I, I'm trying to say something uh, about the server and because I, I'm I working on a project uh, to make a server, but to my family, um, I, I am working on um, uh, to have a computer, a beautiful computer, and install server. What's the name? Debian, I think, of Kali, uh, but it's based on Linux. But it's, uh, the idea is to have uh, my personal cloud based on Linux, just for me and my family. Hey, that's cool, your own cloud. Yeah, I working on, I working on, I know that it's not easy, but I think that I can do it. But I, I, I need time. Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. Good for you. You see? You see what money can do? If you have, if <laughs> you have money, money, you can do whatever. <laughs> not really. I don't, I'm not going to use a lot of money. I, I just need a, a computer, a base computer. Is a, a is the the name. has to be on online all the time. No, it's true. It's, it's a game for man, right? Yeah, for him, it's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, but but I can sell I can sell a little part of my cloud when I do when I. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I so I don't need Lego, said Guzman. I I I get a server. I have a server. <laughs> uh -huh, I like it. I have my own server. <laughs> Remember course, yesterday class? A, <laughs> yesterday we were practicing future using present continuous. For example, I am eating pizza. And if I want to make that future, what do I need? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I need something, one word or two words that describe a future. I'm eating pizza tomorrow. What are you doing Saturday? Yeah. On the weekend. What are you doing on the weekend? Good. Hey, no tenemos días festivos que vengan cerca, ¿verdad? February. Yeah. Okay. That's not uh, a holiday, but it's not really a holiday. No, but teacher, el 14. It's a normal but for, day. But for some, uh, for but some it, people, it, it, it's a happy day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> si tenés un, un mes o dos de andar con tu novia, it's good. And it's like, oh my God. You're making plans now, like, oh my God, oh my God. You're calling all the restaurants and making reservations. But when you're married, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, teacher, come on. Yeah. You know what? I forgot my wife's birthday last year. For your wife? For no, your wife? No, but I was lucky because I went to the bathroom in the morning and I always take my phone. Y bendito Facebook. Boom. Hoy cumpleaños. Oh my God, it's my wife's birthday. Because <laughs> I went back to the room. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, gracias. You know, I don't know. Te tengo una sorpresa. Me voy a cenar hoy. Oh my God, man. But, you know, I recommend Facebook. Me salvo Facebook, man. My birthday is impossible to forget because my birthday is November 2. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. So what, are, there, but there's no holidays in, in, in March. Oh. 
No, no holidays. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's continue with. Um, Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future Grammar. with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if this statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this. WH question word plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tonight. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. On, Friday. On Friday. This weekend. This weekend. Next, week. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. And remember, it's not only next weekend, I mean, any future, anything as long as it's future. Next week, next month, next year. It's a long future. Knowledge check, it says. Complete the invitations with present continuous as future. Use pronoun and verbs in brackets. What you do tonight, would you like to go out? What is the question? What are you doing? What tonight? are you doing tonight? Here. What are you doing tonight? Good. Is here? It's here. Next, number two. Uh, 
Number two, you do anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? What is the correct? Are you doing? Are you doing? Yeah. Are you doing? Hey, are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? All right. We blank have friends over for barbecue on Sunday, for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Are having. We are having, yes. We are having. We are having. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, excuse me, in this case, what mean having? Yes, okay. That's a good question. Really, 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 that's not formal. Uh, ¿Quiere decir vamos a tener a los suegros el fin de semana? Un ejemplo, we're having, imagínense yo fuera divorciado y me invitan a salir sábado. No, why? Because Saturday I'm having my son. Voy a tener a mi hijo el sábado, no puedo salir. Do you understand having? Yes. Yes, teacher. And, so, and other question. Mm, I confuse with present and continuous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What because, are you confused about? Because it's the Finnish ing. That is present continuous. I am this drinking. Is, I am having. I am driving i am sleeping mm, running. Uh, but my question is when you say uh, you know what is presente continuous use as as future or only presente continuous class can you respond to that Class. Can you I have the question, 19, please? the question. I have 19 people. Karen asks, when does she know it's present continuous? If it's present continuous or is future? Uh when when is a present continu is a present continuous when uh you uh when you uh be a when you are uh, an action, in action right now, it's a present continuous. For example, I am eating, I am staying in my class. No, but she doesn't no. know. Well, yeah, well okay, Karen, can you example. No, no, yes, that's a present continuous. And when is present continuous in future? Because you can say I am eating. Yes, it's present continuous, but it's when present is continuous. But when it's a uh, uh, in future, when you put a, a different words, for example, tonight. Uh, uh, but most okay. important, those words yeah. have to be what? When we use going to. And will. Oh, no, no. And no, we're going no. to. When you a specific uh, an hour or a time. Or when, when wait, we wait, talk wait. about. No, 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 no. Forget will and going to. No, no, no. I am drinking coffee. Is that present continuous? Yep. I am yep. drinking coffee tomorrow. What is future there? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow when, makes when you, the sentence future. Uh -huh. When That's you it. specific a time. A future. I need a future Ajá. word. Okay. Eso quería explicar. <laughs> yes. No, pero yo empecé a oír will and going to. No, 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 no. You cannot use will in a present continuous. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije ayer, creo? Les dije una cosa muy importante. Esto no existe en español. Porque si lo hacen así, hey, yo estoy bebiendo café mañana. No, eso no puede ser. In Spanish, no. In English, yes. It's very common. I am drinking coffee tomorrow. 
I am going to the beach Saturday. Uh, Lisette, where are you? Lisa Flores, do you understand now? I'm here. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Usted me preguntó, Hi. No, me oh, it, was Karen. Karen. it was Karen. It was Karen, right? It was Hi. Karen. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I, Karen. So listen. I understand. Yeah. So press it. Okay. It's very. It's very. Very. Very simple. Yes, you, I, you, I understand you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. You need a present continuous sentence and one word to describe a future. That word can be at the end or at the beginning. Tomorrow, I'm going to, uh, tomorrow I am eating pizza or I am eating pizza tomorrow. Si no uso tomorrow, entonces the action is now. Mm, or I'm eating pizza. So once again, remember, this is a very, um, this is a very common ways for men común to express future. Okay, um, Catherine Giselle. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you give me an example of a present continuous using Saturday? I it is, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Saturday. Yes. And excuse me, is Saturday future? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, good. Okay, Catherine. Catherine Giselle, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, see. Sí. Can you give me an example using Saturday? I going to. But using a present continuous, please, not a simple future. Using present continuous. I'm playing basketball next Saturday. Good, that's it, that's it. It's that simple. I understand. I'm going to play basketball Saturday is correct. O sea, es la más formal. But that's simple future. Lo que esta lección quiere dar, entender ahorita que también se puede decir future with present continuous. Um, Ana Lisette, Valentine's Day. Give me a sentence. Uh, and the future is Valentine's Day. Class, is Valentine's Day future? Yes. Yeah. In this moment, is future. Hello, Ana Yes. Um, Present continuous. Um, I have a present for my friend. Uh, on Valentine's Day. But I need a present continuous. I need an okay. ING. I having. I'm buying, maybe. Uh -huh. Or I'm giving. I giving to present for my friend. To my on friend. Valentine's Day. Good. I'm giving a present giving to my friend on Valentine's Day. Her son. Elias Rodriguez Sea. Yes, teacher. Can you give me an example using tomorrow morning? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to the university tomorrow in the morning. Very good. I'm going to university tomorrow in the morning. Excellent. Hello, Ana Francisca. Hello, teacher. Give me an example with Sunday morning. Sunday morning. I, I'm going to the church on Sunday morning. Very good. I'm going to church Sunday morning. Very good. Me too. Good. Me too. I'm going to church Sunday morning. Pero dejar a mi esposa. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> no good. No, I, I I don't go to church. I never go to church. Okay. <laughs> but my wife, my wife goes to church. Blue for uh, her. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you understand now? It's very simple. Pero yes. le vuelvo y repito, si ustedes están pensando esto en español, esas son las cosas que no deberían de pensar en español, aunque sé que es inevitable, o no deberían de, o deberían de aceptar que sí se dice en inglés y no en español. Ahí está más fácil. Porque si sí, realmente estoy yendo a la iglesia el domingo, no hay que se puede decir así. En español no se puede decir así, pero en inglés sí. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. but see, it's very, very common. No en mi. Friday night. Hi. Um, I, I cook here, I cook in for, for dinner Friday night. I'm cooking dinner Friday night. I see, I cook in dinner Friday night. Good. I am painting my house Sunday morning. I'm happy about that. So I bought I. I bought a gun, a, a compressor. So it's a good idea. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. The thing is, I don't need to paint my house because I have a house... motorcycle that I need to paint. Oh yeah, you can have my compressor, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can paint cars, but but it's a strong compressor. That's my. Solo lo quería comprar y tenía una excusa. Le digo, no, lo voy a comprar porque I need to paint the house. <laughs> like uh, two hundred. No, no, no. But it's not. It's not. It's electrical. Wow. It's a gun. It's just for painting the house. Yes, it's just for painting the walls in the house. Yeah. I want to paint my room black. Nice. Like everything black. I will, I will paint my, siempre, I always wanted a black room. So now I will have a black room. <laughs> All right. Do you understand? Yes, right. yes, teacher. Question. Yeah. Y si me preguntan, entonces, ¿por qué no I am going to eat pizza tomorrow y tengo que decir I am eating pizza tomorrow? No, the two are correct. Que la, la mayoría de gente va a decir I'm eating pizza tomorrow. It's more, it's more popular. Ahora, vamos a solo... Quiero ver algo. Le voy a dar la oración y ustedes háganme la pregunta, ¿ok? Yancy. Yancy, hi. Ok, we lost Yancy. Tu, 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 let me see. José Carlos, are you there? Yo soy Amplicho. Carlos, mm. listen. Um, I am going to attack on Sunday. Uh, what is the question? When uh, do you go uh, attack on Sunday? Um, it's simple. When are you going to a taco? When? When, question. when are you going to a taco? Marilyn. Are you going to a taco? Yes. When are you going to a taco? I'm going to a taco Sunday. Where are you going Sunday? I'm going to a taco Sunday.
Okay, okay teacher. Let, okay, uh, good. Let me see. Jovito, hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, is Jovito your, your name? Like, oh, oh. Is my, his name. He's my name. So your name is Jose Jovito? Yes. Is no surname, is name. Oh, es nombre, nombre. No es como sí. sobrenombre. No es como decir Chepe. Nombre. Es okay. nombre. Oh, ok. Jovito. Es oh, Jovito. Es una, ajá, es una palabra, es drújula. Oh, ok, mm -hmm. I'm, ok, Jovito. Ok, ya tiene más sentido. No, 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 hey, that's mm -hmm. cool, Jovito. Yo me teacher. Hi, yes. yes. Cuando usted me preguntó en de hoy, eh, yo quería pulsar donde es el micrófono, pero no sé por qué me sacó de la... It's okay, it's okay, Yancy. Ahí le voy a preguntar. Ok, Jovito, hey, I like that name. I like that name. I like different names. Yes. Yo pensé que era como algo de José, Chepe, eh, Enrique, Quique, you know. Ajá. Uh -huh. Jovito, no, es, 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 es un nombre que viene de un sinónimo del evangelio de Job. Job, okay. es, Job es hebreo y no es eh, español. Mucha gente lo confunde con Jovita, que Jovita sí es de origen español y se escribe con B grande. Eso le iba a preguntar, Job era con B grande en la, en la Biblia, ¿verdad? Sí, era con B grande, pero este es un sinónimo. La gente que sabe gramática. A mí me lo han explicado varias veces, pero yo no soy gramático, yo soy matemático. Oh, ok. okay. Ajá, y tengo una mi ingeniería y la más, la, la autografía no es mi fuerte. Lo mío okay. es otra cosa. Yeah, ok. Ok, but good. Hobbito. Entonces okay. lleva el tilde en la O. Hobbito. En la O, correcto, son las drújulas. Okay, Jovito. Cool, Jovito. I like that. I like that name. Okay, listen, Jovito. I'm going. No, wait. Let me see. I'm buying my wife flowers for Valentine's Day. Okay. Mm. What do you buy of Valentine's Day? Of your wife. Yes. What are you buying your wife for Valentine's Day? Yeah. No, that's the correct. What are you buying your wife for Valentine's for Day? Valentine's Day. Okay. Okay. I am buying my wife um, flowers from Mercado Central and Don Pollo. <laughs> For the girls is is a flowers. Yeah. Is no, a flower I, is correct. I, I am buying my wife a purse, a Michael Kors purse. Una cartera Michael Kors. Pero chafa, right? <laughs> Michael Kors is very expensive. Oh yeah, no, but I'm buying a replica. But okay. I will not tell my wife it's a replica. <laughs> I will tell her, here, baby. <laughs> okay. okay, no, but very good. That, that's, that's how you ask the questions, okay? So, um, do you understand class? Yes, teacher. All right, good. Let me see, let me see, let me see what's next. Oh, so listen, number four, it says, you stay in, oh, wait, está la respuesta, three, hold on. Oops. Number four, it says, you stay in town next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? Are you staying? In town next weekend, do you want to go for a hike? Do you know what is a hike? Okay, number part two then. Complete 
and, and response with, okay, I see what was going to. So number one, it says, I am going to be, or I'm going to be here Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Sunday. What is number two? It says, well, my father visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. What is the correct? Well, my is father going is to going visit. to visit. My father is going to visit. Number three, sorry, I can't. I blank work over time tonight. How about tomorrow night? I'm going to, I'm going I'm to, going to work. work. I'm going to work. Very good. Number four, can we go to a late show? I? I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. And that's it. <laughs> cool. Mm, the verbs tell and ask. Do you know what is the verb tell and ask? What is tell? Decir. 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 Okay, decir o contar. And ask? Preguntar. Preguntar. Y o pedir. Y o pedir. For example. Example, Owen Guzman, are you there? Okay, uh, let me see. Lisette mm -hmm. Flores, are you there? Karen, cada vez que hago eso, más me yes, yes. lo que dice en su forma. Don't ask people with no with no camera. Okay, um, Lisette. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Esto es un ejemplo, Lisette. Mm -hmm. Imagine I like your friend. Me gusta su amiga. I okay, want okay. to <laughs> I want to ask her for her telephone number. Ahí, ahí que dije, le quiero preguntar su número o le quiero pedir su número. A preguntar su número. Realmente en este caso es pedir. Mm. Like, like. Ask when you go, to. Ask. ask to. Eso que uh -huh. hoy. Ask. Like, you ask. know, like when, when you go to um, McDonald's and you go, hey, no pusieron ketchup. Hey, go ask for ketchup. Mm. ¿Qué okay. dije? Eh, que ¿Me va a preguntar o me va a pedir? Pedi pidió... No, pedir. Ketchup. Me va a pedir. Go ask for ketchup. Mm -hmm. All right. So, look. Let's, let's watch mm -hmm. the video and see. Los verbos decir y pedir son presentados en la conversación entre dos personas hablando en el teléfono. Hello. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Okay, by the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. So listen. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person, plus two, plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay. Now is the seal. Um, Miriam, dígame que le diga a César Adonai Dígame esto. Dile a César Adonai que compre material mañana en San Salvador. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Could you tell a uh, uh, César Adonai uh, to buy uh, to buy uh, in San Salvador tomorrow? Material. Ah, material in, in San Salvador tomorrow. Excellent. Or tomorrow. Yes, I will tell him. Okay. Thank Come you. Back. <laughs> Very good. Cesar. Yeah. <laughs> Dile... Dile a Yancy que le diga a José que traiga un recuerdo de Costa Rica. Uy, Yancy, I don't know. Se nos fue Yancy otra vez. Pobrecita Yancy, que cuando quiere tocar el micrófono. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, dile a Catherine que le diga a José que nos traiga un recuerdo de Costa Rica. Mm. How do you say traer? Bring. Good question. Bring. Oh, okay. okay. So, Catherine, uh, can you uh, tell to José 
that bring uh, yes. what is a souvenir? Souvenir. On Costa Rica. Is correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, it can be it can be um a gift or a souvenir, okay. A gift or souvenir, okay. Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay. It's not there. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see now. Jose Isaias. Dile a Ana Lisset que le pida descuento a Jose Carlos in, in the restaurant. What? ¿Cómo se llama el restaurante? Entre nubes. Entre nubes, yes. Uh, okay, uh, Analyse, could you ask for to Jose Carlos, how do you say descuento? Discount. Discount. Analyse, uh, ask for, to Jose Carlos to discount in his it's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Very good. Esa fue la parte difícil. La suya, Lisette, solo decir, yes, I will. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Hey, han entendido bien esto, the talent and, and, and ask. Herson. When are you going to ask Lisette on a date? Um, okay, teacher. Um, for repeat. Yes. Es que, bueno, todo este tiempo he estado escuchando entrecortado por eso. I don't know if I believe you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to ask Lisette for a date? Uh, for a, uh, oh, wait, wait, let me change. When are you going to ask Lisette for her phone number? For, for a date or for number? Her phone number. Okay. Um, ¿cómo sería, entonces? I don't know. Listen to my question. When are you going to ask Lisette when? for her phone number? Um, Do you understand? If you don't understand the question, yeah. it's difficult for the answer. Yeah. Es que por eso no entiendo mucho porque toda esta parte entre cortado lo estaba escuchando. Um, when... No, no sé. Antes le contesté bien porque escuché bien. Hoy no. Ask, no. ask Lisette for her phone number. When? Come on. Thursday is the last class. Ok. <laughs> I know. He's waiting, the for the, the, he's waiting for the next level. Yeah, they said you are six, seven, seven, four, eight, nine. No, no. Podría ser um or uh Herson uh, asks to the for number me. Herson, ah, yes, lo pidió. Uh, no, pues sí, así sería. No sé. Oh, pero... okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, so when is Herson going to ask me? Ah. Wow. wow. For the uh -huh. phone number, because remember, hoy no no lo va con no lo va a decir, lo va a pedir. But but she's saying when. 
Ah, ¿cuándo me lo va a pedir? Sí, sí, está diciendo, ¿cuándo me va a pedir el bendito teléfono? Oh, my God, Harrison. Sorry, teacher. I don't well, believe uh, you, Harrison. Pobrecito el niño. <laughs> yeah, no, lo está tentando, lo está tentando. His internet is bad. No, en serio. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Uh, what what do you think, Jose can't. Arturo? What do you think? When, when? <laughs> I can't believe that. Yeah. I can't believe. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't. Well, okay. What what do you think, Jose? You don't believe it? No, I don't believe it. Yeah, me too. I don't believe it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, but that, that's the question, yeah? So when is Gerson going to ask Lisette? We have. Cuando Gerson le va a pedir a Lisette, no preguntar, pedir, ask, for her phone number. ¿Qué son cosas que se piden? Ask a favor, favor. Yes. Ask for money. Facebook account. Las mujeres que están casadas se le pide permiso al esposo, right? Ask for permission. Ah. Ah. No. Yeah, you ask for, uh -huh. you ask for a telephone number. Bueno, lo, lo que, los hijos piden permiso. Los, nosotros pedimos permiso a los jefes, a las autoridades, right? Ask for permission, ask for money. Ask y for... students. Teacher, oh, the yes. student for teacher. Yes, always an authority. Teacher. Yes. You you ask permission at your wife. Never. Yes, because it's your authority. <laughs> no, I don't ask for permission to my wife. I tell my wife. Mira, voy a ir a lugar, okay? No, vaya pues, no way. Only information. <laughs> <laughs> I no, aquí yo mando cuando ya no está. No, I'm joking. No, I don't ask permission for my wife. She doesn't ask permission for me. So I'm just, I don't like that. No me gusta. Uh. Yo digo, no me pidas permiso, solo decime. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, ¿Qué más se pide? ¿Matrimonio? Ask, hey, I'm going to ask my girlfriend to marry me. Yes. El objetivo de hoy es que también tengan otra, otra idea de que ask no solo es preguntar, es pedir, ¿ok? Well. Ok, Gerson. Hmm. Gerson, Gerson, Gerson. Yeah, I don't believe your internet is bad. Yeah. Do you believe his internet is badly set? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you see, you don't believe ni, ni Lisette cree Herson. Oh my God. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, Herson, Herson. No. no, no lo dije con mala intención. Sí. No, <laughs> no, no. <chico. laughs> Never, never. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, class. O sea, uh, es que también tengo mal el internet, pero sí es mm -hmm. mucho más. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, class. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.